Hello and welcome to a new video about my load cell project. I'm going to solder this now. I'm going to solder the load cell directly to this to this board uh, because uh, you know we're making tiny, tiny, tiny changes of resistance, and I don't need the contact resistor somewhere. I don't want to to plug this. I, I want to have it soldered. Uh, the other side I'm going to make pluggable because there is already digital side. Uh, doesn't really matter. Yeah, but here we have to be accurate and this is why I'm going to solder this now directly so red red to E plus good black to E minus Come here, black one. Good. And then, according to the plan, I should... Let's see what is A plus is green. Green is A plus, white is A minus. So here is A minus, where I have to use white. If you have a different load cell, then maybe the color code is different, because here at this tiny load cell, it looks different, you see? There's blue, there's white, there's no... Uh, we'll see. We'll see! But first I'm going to try this with this, with this heavier load cell, with this bigger load cell. Okay, and then we have the green one. Last but not least. Okay, that's it. Soldered. Okay, I will also put into those huh? here to connect this to, to the Arduino. This does not really matter, so I will make this pluggable because there is already digital value, so it's just a protocol which is running. We don't need to be that accurate. Yeah, from from resistance point of view uh, and uh, should work good good satisfied so, I try now, try now on the computer to find the correct library and so on, connect this to the Arduino, and, well, that's it. Alright, it took a while until I found my, my Uno. So, uh, actually what I also did is that I have connected my load cell, yeah, uh, soldered, connected, plus to 5 volt, ground to, to, to ground, so it's labeled here VCC, VCC and, and, and ground, connected those two, and then I've connected DT, DT is the, DT I've connected to pin 3, and clock, the clock line, SCK, is connected to 2, okay, so 2 is clock, connect this now, I don't know, yes, and let's switch to the computer. I've already prepared a basic sketch, uh, nothing, uh, new sketch. And I'm going to use a library. Oh, here I have to select Arduino Uno, of course. And I'm going to select... Most patient. 
All right. Going to select the library. I have chosen uh, this ADC library. I think um, I will use this one. All right. So actually, let's see. Here we should be able to open. Yes, this is nice. This is nice. And all right, so we have an object called H. Okay, this one. Huh? I will use this object here and I call it load cell. And what is the first thing I need? Uh, digital out, and this was three. Three. And clock was two. Alright. What else do we need? Begin. Begin. Sounds good. Begin. Start. To Tara, all right. Tara, Tara, no delay. Set Cal factor, calibration factor, I don't know. For testing and debugging. Get data from removing average data set. Returns current calibration factor. Okay. Okay. Start. So I will call here. I will call here load cell dot start. I guess. No, or begin, or begin, uh, begin, begin, start. Okay. I'll need need both probably. Begin. And then I make a load cell dot start. What is this? Unsend long T. Hmm. That's for sure somewhere an example. That's for sure somewhere an example. Read one time load cell. This is what I need. What was the zero begin? Okay, load cell begin. All right, load cell st stabilizing time. Stabilizing time. Aha, stabilizing time. All right, so how long? Let's say 2000 milliseconds. Two, two milliseconds. Or also serial dot. Uh, begin. Line six should be sufficient for this purpose. Uh, then I will serial dot print line uh, starting up load cell. Oh, French. Oh la la. And then here, right, done. Print line. So now the load cell should be should be ready. Yeah. And what is then? Yeah. Load cell update. Check for new data that new data ready. Get data. 
just get the float. Uh, I will just make serial dot print float load equals load cell dot get data. Serial dot print. Current load. And then I will print load. And we should see something, hopefully. Now that there is no short and neat program. Download. And we have not calibrated at all because I think it's unnecessary. I just want to have data. First time I just want to have data. Port open 96. Zero. Okay, there is zero. I should write print line probably, and then it should should look more convenient. Starting a load cell done. Load is zero, and now if I take this. Nothing. Nothing. <sighs> All right. Just use this. Huh? I will use this. What is this? Load cell. Digital out is three. Three. And clock is two. Uh, upload. Let's see what this original, original thing is doing. Serial monitor. Starting. Uh huh. There's something. Uh huh. Okay, the wiring seems to be correct. <laughs> wiring seems to be correct. The standard is working. Let's see where I've done something wrong. Delay, starting, load cell begin, calibration value. I have not set the calibration value. Is this maybe it? Let's try this, this line here, load cell update. And then get data. to do it. wait until loads will update. Oh, now I get it. All right, maybe we should slow this down. Yeah.
to write it correct, then we print something out. And this is then. Okay, now we should print it only, only every second. Yes, it's looking good. See? Look like at that. If I'm using, the force should be applied in this direction. So if I apply force in this direction, we see the data is going up, the value, whatever this value means right now. And if we go in this direction, the value is going down. So this seems, seems to work. Right, so I'm getting data. Now, next step is I will not, this is not just sitting here on the table. I will build a little something that it looks like a scale. Okay. And then we need to calibrate it. Well, so the next steps, next videos. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.